this is an experience we're having together. It's not formal, and meaning it's as formal as Yom Kippur can be when a group of Jews come together not eating for 25 hours, right? We can get a little kvetchy, we can get a little, a little, a little, you know, like this, this kind of is not my, my, my 5 p.m. headaches coming even worse than ever. Whatever it is that we experience, we need to be authentic about it. So this is spacious. This is an experience. People come and go as you please. There's a labyrinth to walk on. It's the open temple labyrinth inspired by the walls of Jericho. We're gonna allow the walls in our hearts to come a tumble and down. If you need to go for a walk, it's right here. And a labyrinth is kind of like life. It's one way in, one way out, right? So have a little meditation in the center and in the center you'll see pieces of paper with pens and it's our opportunity, oh my goodness, James and Sonia. It's our opportunity to write down the things that no longer serve us. Some people call them chaytim. The word chayt is really interesting. It literally comes from this idea of like missing the mark. And so we can write down where we've missed the mark or what no longer serves us and then carry it in our palm tremulously. And then when we get out, find the way that the wind is not blowing and you can kind of slip it into the embers of of the, of the offering, because we have a, a constant glow of an offering space to allow those to come. So spiritual alchemy is the acknowledgement that when we go through these exercises, when we go through these encounters of the soul, however we get there, meditation, yoga, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit. When we go through spiritual transformation in context of spiritual alchemy, saying, I am going to emerge different through this experience, through this experiment, that I am going to transform. And in alchemy, the idea was getting the Philosopher's Stone, which literally, in a kind of um, textbook definition, was like the gold that you got from the lead, right? But in a, in a spiritual alchemical transformation, it's saying what is leaden in my body, what no longer serves me, I am offering up. I am allowing to go through transformation, through prayer, through labyrinth, through music, through crying, through breath, through writing, all of these expressions. And through it, I will come to my magnum opus. I will come to this space of revelation. And so we will call out here in this practice of Hippo the awakening, the calling out of saying, he may me, I am here and I am engaging in this practice of prayer to understand what lies within, what is buried within, and how can I bring it into the light? allows our bodies to purge what no longer serves it by releasing it of the bodily functions of food or drink and focusing on the lead inside a purgation begins an offering is offered up that's what we're here today that is our offering that's why we don't wear the leather we are the offering allow the lead to be the offering Azazel is here to be the offering and to receive it are we ready to bring our offerings? Are we ready to pray? Oh my God. Hey. Is this a video or are it's we- It's a video, okay. yeah, you're live. Excellent. You're live. <laughs> you guys get in here at me. We all made it. We made it, everyone. We're doing the 25 hours.